This has been some election for the television business. Sure has. Yeah, and you've sort of seen a few cycles. Tell us about this cycle and what's been going on. Well, you know, I think it has been such a different election. I mean, transformative in every way in terms of the candidates, in terms of how they raised money, in terms of how they communicated their messages, in terms of the length of the campaign. It's just been an unprecedented on every level. And that's also transitioning, I think, into how we're covering it. Uh, and really uh, what I think is probably the first truly two-screen election uh, we've ever had, where you're really going to be missing out on this election if you don't watch it both on television but also online to just capture the enormous stream of information, of reporting, not only from professional mainstream news organizations but from ordinary people and, and, and citizens and commentators around the country and around the world. So NBC News will have uh, multiple streams of information going out to our audiences. You know, for a long time, as you and I have talked about, we believe we need to find the audience where they are. We can no longer command an audience to come to us on our terms. So our broadcast network, first of all, Brian Williams, Tom Brokaw, Andrea Mitchell, uh, and a large uh, uh, team will be broadcasting on our broadcast network on all our broadcast stations. MSNBC Cable. Uh, David Gregory alongside Chris Matthews and Keith Oberman and Rachel Maddow and Eugene Robinson and Joe Scarborough and again our large team there. Chuck Todd, our political director, going back and forth between those, those two networks to give us his numbers analysis with some very impressive virtual technology uh, that we'll be using. Uh, Ann Curry will be doing the exit polling, not so much a predictive exit poll uh, because I know people have concerns about exit polls. Our exit polling really is also focused about why people are voting the way they're voting. What are the issues top of mind uh, of the voters to help us understand what we see at the polls tonight with the results. So that's on cable starting at 5 o'clock Eastern time and going all through you know, for the next 36, 48 hours live. And then, of course, online, msnbc.com has two streams of video. You'll be able to watch both the cable cast and the broadcast live online as well as a very rich interactive experience on early voting, on voting technologies. We're inviting people to talk about their early voting experiences, which thousands of them have done at firstperson.msnbc.com. We have an interactive map that is incredibly detailed. You'll be able to drill down to county level results, live results from your county, your town, your community on the races that matter to you. Uh, we'll also give you the chance to map out the scenarios. We all know tonight is all about the road to 270. We have a map that allows you to figure out what the road to 270 for your candidate looks like. As states are called, what's left? How do those combinations add up to get to that magic 270 electoral vote number? You can do that interactively online. So, you know, I, I would just recommend to everyone, have the television experience, which is live and immediate, and, and all the great pictures from people voting and, and celebrating around the country but also be online to really see how hundreds of millions of people in the country and around the world are participating. And by the way, I know I'm going on here, can't not mention mobile. I mean, mobile is such a huge factor in the way the campaigns have used mobile alerts. We'll have alerts going out all night to mobile devices. MSNBC.com has a very robust mobile web website, mobile.msnbc.com. And then also, of course, NBC Mobile on all the major uh, cell carriers with video clips, live video on Vcast TV and others uh, all through the night. So it's a little bit early to sort of uh, talk about what this all means moving forward, but it has been a historic uh, time for digital journalism leading up to here. Coming out of the election, are there any takeaways? It's a little hard because you're right in the middle of it, but what do you think? I, look, I, I think there are absolutely takeaways. I think for the political professionals, uh, huge lessons learned in how to reach voters through text messaging on their devices. You know, get out the vote, motivating your base ha has a whole new complexion using this technology. I think the, you know, we've heard several commentators say the phone banks of old, uh, you know, people gathering in a room and just cold calling uh, lists created in advance is an old model. Uh, and the more interactive, more personal way to reach out to network through social networks like MySpace and Facebook and others uh, is really transformative and particularly with the huge increase in that we're seeing at least in advance of the vote today in interest and enthusiasm and participation by young people.